What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Boone. Wait a second. Wait, this isn't right. <laughs> Hold on, make sure you have the pin too, man. Come on, y'all know what time it is, man. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Boone, the true religion feed. Coming at you all with a brand new week to discuss. We got some, you know what time it is, man. I ain't gotta say it. Where are my fiends at, though? Because I know a lot of y'all slept on the last collaboration these two brands did. I did end up getting these pants for like the craziest steal, though. I think I got them for like $325 or something. You can look at the prices yourself now. That's not gonna stop me from going crazy on this next collaboration as well. Um, I'm so excited. I do remember that Tyshawn was rocking a little True Religion jacket in one of the lookbook photos. So we've known there's rumors of this collab happening all season long. And here it is, man. I'm back in Seattle. If you guys somehow missed the news, um, I have been in New York for like the last nine days or so. That's why I've been so inactive on YouTube. I still got you guys on that live cop, by the way. I know a lot of people were probably wondering, Boone, uh, where was that North Face live cop you were talking about? But I ended up being crazy busy that day. I did record the live cop, but I only have the screen recording, but you should be seeing it on Friday. So you guys are gonna be getting three Supreme videos in a row. That's not to mention the unboxing I've already recorded. Gotta edit that. I got all my FTP stuff now. And of course I got y'all on those Supreme shopping videos I was promising in store in New York. So I got so many videos to bring to y'all. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be kind of rushing this video today. I wanna get it out for the people. It is a huge week. This week is so fire to me. One of the best weeks we've seen all season long. Let's talk about the best items to go for. Drop a like if you guys are excited. I swear, bro. I got so many videos that are gonna be coming out. It's about to be work mode boon all December long, man. It's gonna be a good month. So let's get into this video today. Let me know what you're gonna be going for. I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm gonna be copping tomorrow and let's begin. So first things first, I do always gotta remind everyone, if you wanna get a type up of everything to go for every single week, I do them in my cook group browser, along with every other service you need to make money online, monitor, auto checkout services, drop alerts, just information about anything releasing. Come join us. You can even get a free seven day trial to try out the group for yourself and DM us on Instagram. But let's get into this week, man. I'm so excited. And of course, we're gonna start it off talking about this True Religion collab. So a quick backstory, I guess, for y'all. Uh, True Religion was definitely not something I wore in high school, but literally every single person around me did. Like the typical uniform of my school, pretty much a white t-shirt, a buzz cut, some light blue True Religion denim, and some goddamn Fezos. Obviously heavily inspired by Chief Keef. Well, am I wrong to say kind of like gave True Religion its place in fashion it has? Like maybe not 100% him, but like 90%. Although I do think the first collection was better. They actually came at us with some super correct items. And this is going to be a heavily Gore-Tex themed drop, which obviously it makes sense given the season and everything. If you're wondering how the fuck do you make True Religion Gore-Tex? Well, uh, unfortunately it is not over the denim or anything. They have a lining of Gore-Tex under the denim. So your denim is going to be dripping wet, but you're not going to get wet. Um, so let's start off with the jacket, 478. <laughs> I'm not that much a true religion female, I'll tell you that. That's a crazy price to pay. Uh, if you did need like a winter jacket you were gonna wear all season long, this is not a bad one, but like I said, it's not the most practical. Like the denim is still gonna get wet. You won't, but I mean, damn. But paying 500 for a denim jacket's a little crazy. Now, that's not to say it's not fire. This black color, man, whew, that's personally my favorite. Um, I really like the black jacket on this one. I'm not gonna be buying any of these jackets, just too expensive. I don't really think they're gonna have profit either just because there's better stuff to go for. Not a lot of money to be made after a crazy retail like that. If there was one of these that do well, my guess would be the black. I really like it, but honestly, every color is kind of sick in its own way. I'm not a huge fan of the red, but I like the white one actually a lot. The regular denim color, I don't love, but it's definitely the black or the white on this. I would say black, but I'm passing on these for resale. Next up, we got the Gore-Tex pants. Now, $2.98, not the worst price to pay. I'm pretty sure that was pretty close to um, the retail of these pants I got on. But these also have the Gore-Tex lining and kind of like a snow pant look to them. I have to say, the quality of these pants is actually insane. Like, they have like a threading, giving it like a contrast stitch look all throughout. Honestly, this pair of pants is one of like the nicest quality pants I own, so I do think these are gonna be really nice to wear. If I hadn't gotten a pair from the first collaboration, I would probably get a pair of these as well. Like the black, oh, don't do it, Boone, don't do it. Oh, yeah. Y'all, I'm suffering. Like, I so badly want to just drop way too much money on this collection. I gotta stop myself. Again, though, it's gonna be the black pair for me that I really love. As much as the denim is like the staple look for True Religion, I don't think I could really pull it off. My white ass would be looking just, I don't know, bro. I would be looking kind of dorky, but the black pair, 
really clean man i actually really like the black pair on these if any of these did well i would guess it would be the black bigger sizes and there actually could be some profit on these i'm not gonna lie to y'all 300 is steep for some pants but uh the last true religion collection has hit prices of like 500 600 plus these pants go for like seven eight hundred it's crazy so i do think there is some potential obviously this is a big baller week definitely some potential here a bit of a risk at the same time but if you got like a black pair bigger size i do think you can make some money off these next up we gotta talk about what is my favorite item and I think probably the best resale item from this collection, the Gore-Tex True Religion Trooper. I'm gonna look so goofy in this, but I do not care, bro. This is to me the best item. I absolutely love these. I was blown away when I saw them. Such a unique item to put a True Religion denim on, but also just perfectly fits the True Religion look to me. Like the black one of these, it's a cop. I have to get one, bro. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Am I tripping, guys? Because I have to get one of these this week. I think the black, uh, bigger size, smaller sizes usually don't fit my head. I think that's going to be a cop for me this week. Honestly, all the colors of these I like a lot. Um, the regular denim pair is nice. The white is sick. The red is a little out there, but I still like it on this hat. I think any color you can't go wrong. Black would be my guess to do the best. Um, they got the True Religion tag on the back. The pocket on the side. Like, come on, dude. I know it's goofy, but 98 it's not too bad of a price for one of these. This is going to be a cop for me. And it's Gore-Tex. Yes, bro. Absolutely yes. I love this so much. Definite cop for me this week. Um, and I actually think these are going to be selling for like 150 160-ish. They might fall a little bit, but I really do believe in this hat. I think it's probably the best for sure item from the True Religion collection. Next up, we got the sweatshirt and the pants. Um, I really like these zip-ups. Uh, I'm trying to convince myself not to do it to them, but like at the same time, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I really like them. The last time, I really, really regret not getting the last zip up they did because the colors were amazing. I have to, I haven't mentioned it. The washes on these items are so nice. Like the color on this pink jacket is immaculate. It's one of the things I like about it the most. I'm honestly selling this. I know I look terrible in it, but I had to put it on for the video. It doesn't even fit me. It's a medium. I'm too fucking tall for this shit. But uh, the washes on these also look really good. I like the blue the most or the brown. The browns, blue or brown, bro. Do I do it, guys? Now that meant is terrible the reds not bad the black a little more boring on this one i feel like it's the blue or the brown the brown's my guess the brown is my guess on this for which does the best um this might be an item you have to hold on to for a bit but like i said the last true religion zip ups they went for crazy prices after they dropped the purple that orange, oh my god, I'm, I still regret not buying one of those, so. This, I think, has a better chance than something like the jacket. Not quite as good as the first zip-up they did. That one, it's gonna go down as one of the better Supreme zip-ups of all time, in my opinion. I love that jacket. I'd go for the brown or the blue. I feel like brown's my favorite color on this one. And then we also have the pants, which are probably the most boring item to me. They're 198. Don't get me wrong, these could still do pretty nicely. I feel like the black pair is better on this, the black or blue. I don't like the brown quite as much. Contrast stitch is like a darker color on them. I feel like the black really gives it that true religion look. I'd probably go for the normal denim though over these sweatpants or the zip up hoodie, which is not much more. But overall, man, I really like this true religion collab. I think they did a good job of separating it from the first collab. And personally, I'm definitely gonna be getting the hat who knows what i might act up on the website and just get me a zip up hoodie as well or maybe even a pair of the pants in black oh those pants in black oh no man oh no don't do it boom don't do it. maybe you should do it i don't know i'm not gonna set a light goal for y'all because i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do tomorrow i just know i'm gonna spend a lot of money on this release but oh my god we have so much more to go bro i hate that this week is so fat because i'm so running late for the vid let's get into the rest of this drop list starting it off they're just playing with me, man. The coffee maker. Oh my, it's got select in the name. See how select stand up. See how select come back soon. I guarantee all that. I promise you. Um, oh, why do they have to drop this with a True Religion collab with a snowman? There is just way too much dropping this week for me to justify getting a $400 Mocha Master. I've been saying all season long I was going to get one. And I truly, I think I would have bought this if it was a different week. I just do not have the money to spend coming back from New York, getting a bunch of True Religion stuff as much as I want this. And these low he could even resell a bit bro like they could be going for around 500 i wouldn't be shocked i think they're gonna sell out pretty fast made in netherlands that screams limited to me i know the price is hefty but it's honestly not as much as i thought it could be i was thinking maybe five six hundred four hundred's not the worst it's pretty bad but um i like the yellow one the most i think the red will do better though i think the yellow is fire though i really like this i'm kind of disappointed it's dropping this week because god damn it man i really want one definitely some potential for like long-term profit if you like our 
into holding bigger accessories for a while. I actually think this one might go up. Um, a lot of the coffee items from Supreme have aged very nicely. These are not just going to be dead stock. People are actually going to be using these, so this one's going to hold nicely in my opinion. Next up is the snowman. Oh, oh my god, bro. We get Christmassy in this hole. 98 on the snowman. Oh, it's too good a price to not buy, bro. Like, I think I'm going to be going for one, y'all. I actually think I am going to be trying to pick one of these up. I did not think I was going to be buying one because I got nowhere to put it. I truly got no room to put this shit, but I'm going to find room. I don't Y'all know me, man. I just buy this bullshit, figure it out later, man. I, I need me a snowman. I know y'all are about to be getting snowmen this week after this 98 retail. Pretty decent size, too, for the price. It's probably going to have profit as well. I actually think this one's going to do well because no one was expecting 100 retail. I think at least 161. 70 um maybe it'll come down a bit, but i don't know man we're in that christmas spirit too i don't know how huge the quantity is going to be on this one but i do think at least it's going to be going for 140 150 i wouldn't be shocked to see it touching like 175 though it's a really cool item i think a lot of people are going to want to get one of these if you own any kind of like clothing related if you own any kind of clothing related streetwear store and you aren't buying one of these your store is an L. Like, this should be in every store this holiday season, bro, if you're selling any Supreme shit. Next up is the Play Dead tee, promotional tee for the skate film Will Strobeck just made. And, bro, funny story, I literally saw the guys putting these up with Wee Paste. I wanted to ask them if I could buy one off of them, but I didn't have any cash on me, so I didn't really know how to do that transaction. But low-key, part of me wishes I just tried to, like, somehow get one of these. If you're from New York, you've obviously seen these all around the place. Really cool posters, little box logo on the backside. These skate tees don't really perform too nicely like you're really not going to get a lot of profit off of this or anything i love that backside hit though you got the full skate team in it um yeah the front side is whatever to me uh but yeah pretty cool shirt not a ton of money to be made probably selling for 60 bucks maybe 70 so there's a little something there xl double xl is definitely going to be the move though double xl actually might have some profit on this one i'd stick to those sizes um the mophie this is going to be a skip to me mophies just really don't do well supreme kind of sick of them let's talk about these puffer side bags man these actually have a lot of potential i'm really hoping we can get two of these um you guys might be surprised by this but this green is intriguing to me man because we got Bottega Veneta like little hits on it if you don't know Bottega very well known for a lot of their padded look items and green's one of their signature colors I think that's kind of what the inspiration was for this that's why they did this green color I wouldn't be shocked if that one actually does surprisingly well I think obviously black's gonna lead the way I don't know if number two is gonna be the blue bandana or the green one I think blue bandana number two but I'd probably put red at four though I feel like the red bandana just never lives up to the hype black blue bandana green get two if you can because these are gonna do really well i really like them puffer side bag never seen supreme do one before the puff look is fire really disappointed they're dropping these this week there were so many deader weeks they these should have came out on um polar tech face mask these are gonna be a skip play dead book um that's gonna be a skip i wonder if it comes with like a sticker or something i don't know they're not advertising one um yeah probably gonna be a skip cool little personal Puffer pouch? Nah. Not quite as hyped on this as I am for the bag. I'd really just go for the bag. I don't even know if I'm going to get one personally. The black, not a bad option here, but probably a skip. The face mask beanies? I don't know, man. These look kind of goofy to me. Maybe the black one, but these are probably going to be a skip in my opinion. They're just better stuff. Floortech zip jacket. That's going to be a skip. Oh, we have the puffer backpack. Um, 128 is not bad. Um, I wish they did a more traditional bag. These... It's a good retail, but I'm going to skip on them. Really just the side bags, what I'm feeling from these. Mohair Beanie 44, black color, talk to me. Oh, come on, man. Um, I actually think the black one's a good cop here. Usually these black mohair beanies always age nicely. 44, not a bad price to pay. They are kind of scratchy on your head. I might actually get this black one, though, um, just to hold on to. Windstopper fleece jacket. I don't know, bro. I'm not really a fan of these. Um, the brown's okay, but... Uh, I feel like these Supreme Reversible Fleeces have just fallen off at this point. So these are going to be a skip. Small box long sleeve tee, those are going to be a skip. Polar Tech Pant, skip. Uh, cam Cat, a little more potential on the Cam Cat, maybe like the black, but uh, I don't know, man. There's just so much other stuff dropping this week. Puffer Neck Pouch, I keep missing out on Puffer items. These are going to be a skip. These really small bags just don't really do well with Supreme. And we got the Laird Denim Set. So these are kind of like a rip of a hysteric glamour jean called the Kinky Jean. Um, really cool to see them making it. I actually really like these a lot. I almost even want to get a pair for myself, man. Like, come on, Boone, don't be doing all this. Supreme, you're fucking sending me to the streets, bro. I'm actually going to go fucking broke from this week. 
228 a little hefty to pay I don't think there's really gonna be much resale on them like there's not branding or anything people truly want but I really like these denim the whole set is sick I like the pants more in the jacket but I, I really appreciate these man um, if it was a different week I've said it 40 billion times but I would have maybe bought them just true religion I True Religion and an Inflatable Snowman has taken my fucking whole heart and mind this week. Geo Beanie is going to be a skip, not liking those. Raymond Pettibon work shirt, kind of random, just threw this one in there. Um, no thanks. Currency Jacquard, these are fucking dreadful. Those are, I'm not feeling those. Pipe and Six Panel, those are actually even worse. Those are so bad. And then the 24K Gold Beanie. So, do I even have to say it's a skip? It's a fucking skip. So, overall, in my opinion, the best items to go for this week are going to be the Inflatable Snowman, Duh, I think that was a pretty obvious one, but the True Religion Trooper, I really do have confidence in. So I'm gonna be trying to get both of those in a double cart. I have a feeling the snowman is gonna sort of fly, so I might be doing two different carts this week. Um, in my first cart, those two items. Second cart, two puffer side bags, uh, mohair beanie, maybe like a XL, double XL, play dead tee. And that's gonna be the cart I make up my mind if I get a pair of the black True Religion denim. I think I'm going to bro. I really like these True Religion pants. I love mine. I'm sad y'all can't see them because I'd be looking cute as a motherfucker in these even though it doesn't match. I don't give a fuck. It's been your boy Boone though. Um, I gotta get to editing. I've been recording 24 minutes so this is gonna be a fat video. It's Wednesday. It's work time baby. Time to get into grind mode because I got so many videos on the way. I'm so excited to show them to y'all. Um, so just bear with me. I will be dropping the live cop tomorrow and the TNF live cop should be on Friday. Expect a lot more videos from me this next upcoming week. I think that's when I'm really gonna be getting into like the vlog stuff and everything. But yes, yeah, it's your boy Boom. I'll see y'all in the next one, man. I'm out. Peace.